questions? Great presentation. Uh, your enthusiasm is infectious. I'm struggling with hay fever and it still perfectly clear to me what you're doing. So, <laughs> so do you mind repeating the question so we can hear it back here? I wrote real quick too. Um, so on the questions, obviously the, one of the reasons why we're here is to help them, help those guys kind of uncover or discover, you know, maybe there's something that they're missing or, or if you have direct questions um, for them, um, obviously the, the purpose is to, is to just help them do, do whatever they need to do to get further down the road. So, um, and then again, speak up. If you have a question, introduce yourself, let us know who you are and, uh, and go from there. So. Hi, I'm Jeff Knox. Did you go back to your revenue model slide? I understand the 1995 skin in the game, or 1999. When does the renter pay at all? So, and how, what, where do you make money through that process? Uh, so the renter, uh, because we have multiple markets. So Cedar Rapids is different than New York City market. And we, uh, this 500 comes from the average of both, let's say, Cedar Rapids, where the person only pays 1999. And the New York, where the person can pay $2,000 or even more. So 500 is just the, just the average of, of, of uh, renters from both property management side and from the renter side. Now the renter pays 1999 after he submits the application, but after he actually rents the apartment, then the 1999 becomes a part of the service fee, basically as a commission. So does the, the person who owns, does the owner pay anything? Yes, the property manager also pays after we rent out his apartment. So basically, when the apartment is rented out, property owner pays and the renter pays. How much does the property owner pay? Well, here in this market, see the rapids around one hundred dollars to three hundred dollars. Just one time, not per month. One time. And are, are you uh, to, to get the the list of available apartments? Are you just uh, scraping that from newspaper classifieds or? <coughs> <laughs> no, uh, we work directly with property management firms and property owners. We also have, uh, even here in Iowa City, Cedar Rapids, we already have property management firms on board. So we always have that updated database. First, uh, uh, when the volume is small, we manually can update the listings. But we, we will automate everything. We will plug into their database system so when they say, okay, apartment 1A is uh, occupied and they put it, it's occupied, we see it immediately. So we know we cannot uh, give this 1A apartment to the applicant. So I got a question. Um, have you thought about other revenue models at all, like as far as just charging the, uh, the property owners like a monthly fee and making it free for the users, for the, for the renters to be on there? Well, we, we have. Um, there's also a subscription model that we can use, uh, a monthly model, but we think right now, in the beginning, we have to show property managers and also renters that actually we can provide a value. And then, once we grow, then we can go into the sub subscription model every, every month so we can get a steady cash flow. Sure. But as we grow, we want to show them, okay, they can really provide something to us, and that is worth so much uh, money to us, and then we'll pay. But as, they, as we con continuously show them value, then we can go, okay, now it's this much, a month, uh, this much money per month. Gotcha. How do you differentiate from Zillow and others in your space? Exactly, uh, Zillow and Trulia and all other online marketplaces. Well, what are they? They're basically an um, open platform for everybody to post whatever they want on, on their website. So right now, I can go to Zillow, I can sign, uh, create a profile, and I can list this building that I'm selling. So the, uh, Zillow doesn't have a control over the information what is on their website. And for us, that's why we work directly with property management firms. We have an access to the MLS, to the real estate uh, databases, and we can get the listings from there. But we wanna have that personal touch, that connection with basically <coughs> the source. So we have up-to-date listings. How difficult was it to make contacts initially with uh, like the property management companies that want to uh, do business with you, uh, you know, in different areas of the country? Well, you have 
reach out to them? Did you? Uh, well, uh, actually, it was quite easy. Because why? Nobody benefits if the apartment is empty. So if we can prove, now listen, you have 5% uh, of apartments empty, and we can fill that out, well, that is value to them. So that's why they're willing to open their inventory to us. And especially with this model, you don't pay anything until we show you something. They get on board right away. That's a great question. And we already, right now in Cedar Rapids, are in, in uh, we have uh, talks with uh, big multinational companies which have relocation services and they have employees coming in and coming out from all over the world. And they're also very interested in this model. So right now, as we launch our beta, now we'll show them what we can do for them and hopefully they get on board. Along those lines, how who, uh, are you marketing to, like, let's say I'm looking for an apartment, how would I come across to click on, like, what's your strategy for getting the word out to the, the larger market, the general public? Well, right now, who we, wanna, who we want to target is um, students, I, uh, let's say, uh, University of, of Iowa. Uh, for them, we'll target by flyers. Then we'll use the standard me me methods, Facebook ads, Google ads. Uh, we can also use the channels uh, Zillow, because Zillow and uh, Trulia, those big online real estate marketplaces, they have the bulk of users. So we have to use their channels to get the users know that ClickHome exists. And then we offer service, not just, we're not just yellow book with, with the information. So we have a different channels that we can attract users from. So it seems to me that, that beyond being matchmaker you lose revenue because you don't have repeat customers and there's something here where if you keep on successfully putting people in these great apartment complexes I'm not going to recommend my friend coming going to click home I'll just recommend hey this is a great com apartment complex just check out the landlord you're how are you going to sort of offset your model so that you constantly have repeat customers that you have customers come back to you uh, that's a great question uh, for example University of Iowa we spoke to a few of the landlords. And when the housing, uh, when, when the semester starts, there's lines in front of their offices. They don't want, they don't like that. And we talk to them, they say, can you fix this? If they come to, come to us and we can bring them and we can basically pre-screen them for the apartment, that saves a lot of time and money for the landlord. Because uh, people, uh, uh, landlords, uh, when we talk to them, uh, basically what is our plan with in the future, we want them to be, okay, you want our apartment, go to click. Because right now we're doing pre-screening. We're charging the small upfront fee. We're, we're gathering data for the landlords. But in the future, what we aim to do is to do the entire application. So the credit score, credit check, background check. Right now, we don't want to 
deal with that. This is too much liability for us, and landlords, uh, well, we don't have credibility yet, so landlords want to do that. But in the future, that is the goal. The thing is, like, I've never heard of a landlord say something like, every year we have all these people lined up wanting to rent our apartments. Like, I've never heard that being a business model problem. Especially because a lot of those people who fill up lines just are usually just slackers who wait to the last minute to find an apartment. And, and then the line is there because there just aren't any available. Um, True. And if, if they cannot fill up the apartments, that, that's another problem. That means they're not out there. People cannot search for the pro properties. And that's another. If you pay us more, for the suggestions, if we have similar suggestions, your, your house and another house, we can put your house as a suggestion for this applicant. So we can fill it out easily. And just a, one follow-up question is, um, how, when you begin scaling this, how are you gonna sort of adjust for the discrepancy between the Iowa City market and non-college town environments? Because college towns, you're fortunate that you have a large population of people coming in on an annual basis. Other markets, rent, renting was big in Florida, and then 2008 happened, and suddenly nobody wants to rent in that state. Yeah. Um, how are you going to adjust for the fact that these that many markets outside of colleges are fluctuating wildly? And, and, and that's a great question. First, that's why we focusing on college towns and big cities, because rental turnover is very very high. And then we'll attack the suburban areas when the rental market basically is non-existent. So. Uh, from the from the uh, renter side, do you see this as like a online dating service where they they may be the ones that are just kind of going through the list and trying to figure out who they want to rent to? Is that a equal housing opportunity issue there? From the renter side or from the from, from the from the property owner side, property management folks being able to just go through your applicants, your well, that, that they have a profile of who they claim to be. But uh, uh, what are they doing right now? It's the same thing. I mean, everybody fills out the application and the property owner, okay, I have John Smith here, I like him, but I don't like this, this person. So, I mean, it, we're, we're basically just um, eliminating work that landlord has to do, and we give them the report. So he always chooses, he makes the final decision, do I want to rent out to this person or not? So one comment on, on something you said earlier that really clicked with me and maybe you, know, you, you emphasize it more about, from a renter standpoint, if I'm looking at multiple different places, having to fill out a 10 page application for each place is kind of a pain. So eliminating that for the renter, and, and obviously they charge you know, a $35 application fee or whatever. So if I could do one application for 19.99 and then get it to all there's 10 apartment complexes that would basically serve the same need. That would be a huge benefit for, for the renting. So I don't know if that's something that you, if, if you're going to charge the renter, do you focus on that more in your presentation? Because like that clicked with me and I didn't get it in the presentation. So just kind of. Well, <coughs> or something like that. And that, 
that, that that's a great uh, observation, and we we're thinking about this, especially let's say here Iowa City, downtown downtown is there's a huge demand for that, and uh, we we were thinking about setting up an auction for those apartments to see okay if he bids the most he'll get it, but uh, we have to see what is the legal side. Uh, we will in the future it will be customized but right now in the beginning we just want to have one standard application for just one final question I would look at the questions you have asked on your website and even the certain questions you get asked like what is your lifestyle preference what do you want to do have you thought about like sort of clearly targeting on a certain economic bracket so, I mean you mentioned over 100 million men Americans sort of fall in the umbrella of renters many of those are kids and they really don't count to my eyes because I'm seeing yeah, 40 million um, households. Yeah, um, and then, but many of them are sort of professional renters because they just can't afford a down payment on a, on a mortgage. But there is that class of renters who really want a luxury lifestyle, a lifestyle experience where wealthy parents may want to send their kids not only just to rent, not just to Iowa City and rent a random apartment, but rent, uh, an apartment where it allow their kids to have this great experience. Um, so I mean, with that said, have you thought about even maybe raising the twenty the nine the twenty dollar fee to something higher, where you sort of begin to sort of exclude people and you can actually just sort of target on a very specific market where that would also allow you to generate more connections with advertisers you have a wealthier uh, a wealthier audience to deal with. And, and that's a great question. In in the application we're thinking we'll add a, another part will be uh, for those luxury ones, basically special needs. And that fourth part will be an extra Cost. So let, let's say I want I uh, want uh, high-rise building, doorman, pool in the in, in the building. I want to have a personal assistant to come with me. Well, that's there will be also an option, but it'll be more uh, extra charge as well. But right now we just want to focus on the standard application, this three-part. <coughs> observation because 48 hours right now is because we will do everything manual right we will automate everything the matching system with tags on the property and on, on the renters so we'll be much quicker And that's a, also a great question. First, it will attack big cities, and big cities such as New York in a small area, and basically a handful of people on the entire city. So if we can sign up one, we, we already have multiple buildings. And we will have curators to do that as we, as we grow. And, and right now, as we get a property manager on board, we'll just plug in the database so we have everything. We can see what they're doing, how they're changing, are they renovating. They, they have everything, they, their software has have er has everything 
what they're doing in a particular apartment. So once we plug in, we will see everything. But we, won't, we will have people also in different places just to have a person there if something happens or to take pictures uh, and to get information as well. Uh, would somebody be able to look at a home on your website without being a subscriber? Like paying the $19.99? So let's say I want to buy a home and I don't want to wait for the 48 hour report, but on the same side, you can still make money from the $480 from the person that, or the, you know, the, building, the people who are like the landlords and so on. Instead, because they can say, well, this is a resource for me to find homes, and they, they work with people who are really serious about selling. That's great. Uh, we're just doing renting now, not yeah. buying. Yeah. Um, but so, I mean, yeah, you're, yeah. exactly uh, because uh, the service we provide it is of value. So if it's free, it is like Zillow. You don't know where you're getting, and why would you value, value something that is free? So we think. I mean, when you fill out the application, there's a lot of work, especially now when we do it manually. And to do it free, well, we are we are losing money. So we think once you have a skin in the game, you are serious about it. And that's another, the small fee is basically a part of a screening process. Because if you go to Zillow, tons of people go to Zillow just to check out what is out there. But they will never rent out. But for us, just serious renters come and we'll do work for you and we'll find you what you need. Great. So we're going to wrap it up and kind of transition. But Nick, great job. Thank you very much. Obviously, one of the other reasons we get here is, is to ask you, uh, what can we as a community help you guys with to move forward? What, what are some of the, the issues or problems that you're trying to overcome right now that, that you need some help with? Well, check the website. If you need an apartment, sign up. Is that it? Cool. Yeah, if you have any suggestions, or feel free to connect, obviously, uh, with these guys and, and help them out. So thank you very much. Appreciate it.